Space Landers, this is Gary from The Last Ranger, and we have some kind of bad news. I was watching YouTube uh, after work, and I was just kind of hanging out on the couch, and I saw a video by Talon Psy. I'm not, I'm not familiar with him. I I know he's a knife reviewer, semi knife reviewer, all over the all over the knife field, gun field, whatever. I've seen him uh, as a guest on BHQ. But anyway, he's his channel get demonetized too. So, I don't know. That's a kind of a crazy uh, something's going on crazy at YouTube now. I mean, I'm not big enough. I'll probably never get monetized. <laughs> but uh, I hate to see other people getting demonetized just for knife content. I, I'm sure it, he's not giving any information on how to kill people with knives. But, you know, uh, YouTube is going crazy. But anyway, let's, let's get off that. And we'll... This review is going to be the knife you see in front of you the Kaiser Sovereign and this is courtesy of Suburban Tactical Nation and the BPEX Pass Around Group so yeah I'll get started with a little bit of history because I wanted to know it for myself and I really don't know much about Kaiser, so I looked into their history. It's not about the company in general. I was much more interested in it, uh, the budget versus premium knives because I learned this is a, a Vanguard series knife. And, you know, I've searched around and Vanguard series, it sounds like a premium brand, but it's, a, it's not really. It's a their what they call their budget brand knife so here's what I found out um, they structure their knives in three categories and the Kaiser uh, Vanguard series the budget and this is the 50 to $80 knife and they call that the good quality and there's the Kaiser Prime and I don't have an example of that because I don't own any Kaiser knives except for that cyber knife that you've seen uh, a few videos ago um, but anyway the cyber uh, Kaiser Prime is 80 to 200 dollars and it's labeled as great to a uh, good to great quality and there's another the premium version of their uh, knives are called the Kaiser Bladesmith and it was like 150 to three hundred dollars and it it was they call it the optimize quality so again this knife was fit in the Vanguard series um, and this this knife is no longer in production I believe everywhere I looked I think it was listed as out of production further digger digging I read the Vanguard series uh, mostly Kaiser takes high-end knives they cut the size down a bit and they use materials in a softer price point <laughs> uh, mostly VG10 and uh, v v VG10 for the steel and G10 for the scales and uh, a lot of those designs are actually adapted from their more upscales prime or bladesmith series so maybe this was a, a design that was in their prime or bladesmith series and um, much more higher end materials or something this is in n690 steel so it doesn't meet the vg10 steel that i read maybe they changed it around the so let's go over some specs of this knife this is in again it's in in uh bowler in <laughs> ENS 690. That's hard to say for me, you know. <laughs> uh, it's a reverse Tonto. And it's a flat grind. This, it's a flat grind. 
just checking it stone wash and then this the uh, it has a sculpted uh, milled g10 scale and i really like that it kind of reminds me of a waves wave pattern but uh, it, it features a liner lock and it's tip up tip uh right and left carry and um if you can see this uh clip it seems to be f formed for a right carry so uh i imagine but i don't i can't confirm it because i don't own the knife um i i'm pretty sure that it probably came with a left-handed curved clip for a left carry some knives like steel wheel and others they will come with a different style clip and i kind of like this you know um too many of the complaints i have uh on clips are generic clips and this is a, not a generic clip they they just it's clearly a right hand clip and they probably do a left hand clip too so that i i that's kudos i really like uh designers Civivi just sticks the same clip on all their knives mostly okay it's a manual flipper and it's a you, it, it almost failed so i i'm going to cover some pro, pros and cons and we'll address those uh the flipper and the pros and cons so mostly mostly it's a 90 percent um success rate and flipping it open you have to like really push down hard when you uh it, you kind of have to use a push button with this you can't like you can't light switch it so you have to push it push it hard and then always flip open so anyway it's possibly on bearings i could not look i could not find if it's on bearings or washers and I can't see into the knife but it it's clearly it it acts like a a bearings knife so I'm I'm 90% sure it probably is on bearings um, but yeah it has a sweet lanyard option sweet you can see that lanyard hole it's very big and that's a that's a plus in my book <laughs> anyway let's uh let's go over the size and weights and i I've, I've previously done this uh ahead of time so uh the handle is four and a half inches the blade is three and five eighths inches and overall it's uh eight and eight and eighth inches oh i forgot to tell you the cutting edge the cutting edge is three and a half inches too it's kind of it's a long one and it weighs 5.26 ounces so it's it's not too heavy it's all um all these knives i'm gonna do a comparison on size but they're probably they're not well-known knives but i just want to do do uh, use those knives so but these this knife weighs less than all of those knives <laughs> so um we're gonna go over some pros and cons and uh let's go over the the uh, let's go over the cons first for a change um i think this um uh, has a medium low to medium detent so it's fairly easy to fail like if you try to light switch it it will you have to like really yank and it will it will open but if you just like casually open it or you casually try to open it well sometimes it fail <laughs> but anyway it's it's not a big con because you know if you you press down and you give it some ump yeah it mostly will open 90 percent of the time yeah there's not much anything else um for cons i really i i didn't find a knife uh lacking other than the 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 weak detent so let's go over the pros 
I think the scales are really probably the best part of this knife not the steel not the blade shape the scales I really like this milled pattern in the G10 and I don't normally dig black scales but for this uh, this pattern it kind of works for me I really like these uh, milled G10 scales uh, it, it, they just look very cool in my humble opinion so there's no blade play whatsoever I mean yeah I threw that in because I I felt like it was a, like a big blade and it probably could have some blade play in it and it, it doesn't so it's very fidgetable and drop shetty so that it it, it it, it's probably on washers or bearings it's probably on bearings so you can just it easily uh, you can easily uh, disengage the lock and it will drop shutty so it's a very fidgetable knife sorry I don't use a thumb stud when there's a flipper tab I stay away from thumb studs so I haven't used the thumb stud the, the whole time the entire time I've carried it so let's let's try a thumb stud okay <laughs> for some reason it, it, if it's a thumb stud knife I'll flip it thumb stud if it's a flipper knife I'll flip it flipper if it's uh if it has a hole in it I'll spidey flick it so that's kind of how I go I that's kind of how I roll anyway oh I just wanted to mention it's uh, number eight in the body screws and the pivot and the pivot or uh, the pocket clip of course is six but you know I don't know when this knife came out but the move to eights kind of seems early to me I'm I'm thinking this knife came out in 2018 or earlier and that's kind of good you know like having eights for the body screws i don't know ltk seems to make a big deal about it in all of his videos so all right let's uh my i'm going to go over my final thoughts and uh, i i must admit for me this knife seems like a very usable um everyday carry knife but don't get me wrong uh, for what I'm about to say I kind of I've kind of in vain I'm, I'm kind of vain in in that I like all my knives to look cool even even if they're a workhorse you know if th this is clearly a workhorse but this knife in my opinion doesn't do it for me I like the scales I kind of dislike the blade shape but that's not a negative of the knife I, I think uh, most people would like this blade shape but for me I don't like it so this knife looks good and it, it probably I probably wouldn't purchase it I really enjoyed how the scales look and I could see myself carrying it I I could see myself carrying it in but it would be a user for me and kind of a beater knife I wouldn't treat it with respect because I really hate the blade <laughs> I just I mean I it's not the steel or anything I just low I really I'm not a big fan of reverse tantos with this kind of curve I don't know something about it I don't like uh, as a general use I think this knife is fine but you know it's not for me and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some uh, comparisons for the knives and then I'm gonna wrap it up after that right, so I'm gonna be uh, comparing it to like a tanto it's not a reverse tanto but it's a tanto and it, it has sculpted g10 and this is a knife i like and let's uh another 
favorite of mine. All these knives are about the same size. And all of them like kind of have a Tonto-ish look, look to it. So this is the real steel, I think it's the called the control. And I think it, I think both of these knives match the, the blades and handles match each other. They complement each other. This blade doesn't complement this handle and vice versa. I really don't like this blade shape. I like this knife. It's nothing wrong with it. I just, my opinion, I don't like it. And this is a kind of reminds me of a, a Tonto too. This is a made by a K bar and this is a Jason De Rose. It's a 7508. That's that's how his um, blades or designs are numbered. He has a number model number, and I really like this knife. And it's kind of reminiscent of this blade, but it's somewhat straight. So I don't like this curve, but I like this slight curve. You know, it has some jimping on top. This blade is really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up this review. And, um, you know, two out of three and isn't bad. I liked the two previous um, knives that I reviewed. So, and I, I find nothing wrong with that knife. I, the only thing I found wrong with, like, a medium to weak uh, load slash weak detent but anything everything else was fantastic i just don't like the look of it take care wastelanders stay safe out there bye bye